It was during Miltiades reign in Rome that Constantine, the emperor of Rome, was converted to Christianity. And he gave back to the church the properties of the church. He gave back the basilica. He gave back some of the buildings that were later to form the Vatican. He gave that back to the black pope because he was converted to Christianity in that time. And you mean to say they can't make anything out of that? And the pope goes to Africa and says how sorry he is for his people that they did all of these things to Africans. And he can mention that St. Augustine, one of the great Catholic um, scholars was an African and that Miltiades was an African. Can't he mention that? He's, he's so brilliant, knows all of this history, and wherever he goes to places, he always finds nice little things to say. And all he could say in his Africa, please forgive me. If you want us to forgive you, give us something back of our heritage. Don't take it away from us or cover it over. And then expect us to smile in your face and not feel the hatred and the anger that we feel today. And the many, the saints, Saint Maurice, who was patron saint of Austria and Germany, was a black man. And all of these things are just pushed out of the car. These are never made significant facts. Even in the depiction of Christ, all right, they were white people, they gained control of the world, they want to make God in their own image, so they made Jesus with blue eyes and blonde hair. Jesus never met a European until the day he was arrested. <laughs> but you can understand that because there, you know, everybody wants to make God in his own image. So that you can understand, but don't foist it on the world as a literal truth. So that millions of black people the world over could say, Oh, Jesus Christ, I mean, even you are white. Yeah. When that is, has nothing to do with historical reality. Those are the things that have wounded us to the quick. Those are the things that have created a trauma in the world. So many millions of our people believe these things as literal truths. How can you save? How can you redeem the black psyche? when these myths have become part of the flesh and blood of our civilization, the flesh and blood of our thinking, it has gone into the marrow of our bones. That is the reason why history is so important. You come here today on a Sunday and you come to sermons because this is not just scholarship. This is something profoundly religious. This is profoundly religious because it doesn't just affect our intellect as scholarship does, it affects our very souls. We cannot change the world simply by a different kind of brain because we find often in many parts of the world where the brain seems to be coming cleverer, the spirit drags it down. People spend energies and monies in creating weapons to destroy the world. So what, was the fa what is the point of that? Man sinks into greater depths. Man only becomes larger rather than smaller when there is a relationship between his intellect and the great spirit. Something opens flowers with a new sense of power and hope. Something beautiful emerges out because man is incredible. No star is as great as I am. Size has nothing to do with real power. No. The consciousness of man is pure magic. Could you imagine coming out of absolute nothing, the total void, into a state where you are aware of everything and where you can become the head of the evolutionary process, where you can recharge and rechange your life because that only man has that power. The lion, the elephant, and all the creatures on earth do not have that. Where they are at is where they will be at always before they disappear. Where we are at is not where we have to be. Where we are at is where we are at now and now only. We change our lives and we change where we are going by what happens here and here. And this, 
This, therefore, not head and heart, is affected by thinking anew, seeing anew, feeling anew. And we can think anew, see anew, feel anew, and create a new self, a new person, by a different perspective than what has happened on the past. In spite of all the efforts to destroy that, we mine the past in order, in order to salvage the very best upon which we can build a new civilization, a new kind of man. Thank you very much. You know, I've, I've heard Dr. Van Sertema speak on many occasions, but this, this is marvelous. Um, thank you very much. Dr. Van Sertema will take a break, but before we go, I would like to remind you again that um, Sister Patricia has some delicious food outside. Please go and uh, eat some, because Africans do not, th we cannot think right if we, our stomachs are empty. <laughs> and um, also, for, for the mind, we have books over there pick some of Dr. Van Sedman's book, Black in Science, and uh, the Africans in, Africans in El Euro, and uh, Black Women in Antiquity is over there. Dr. Ben's books, other books by the African Poetry Theater, they are all over there. Please pick some of these books up, and also please, when you pick them up, don't just put them on your bookshelves. Read them, because most of the information are in there. So thank you. We'll take a couple of minutes to do some uh, economic, and then we'll come back for question and answers. I Okay, could you uh, speed it up, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I would like to get the it's tape. It's important. Yeah. I would like to get the tape of this. Yeah. Well, I made uh, a for somebody to take it. Take it out there. Okay, we, we can do that. Okay, 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 we can do that. You can pick it up without the mic, right? You can pick up without... You can pick it up? Okay, we're ready for the question and answer now. Um, make your question short because uh, the doc good doctor has to leave, you know, very soon. So, so go ahead and ask a question. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Dr. Um, you said that um, he died because he worked himself to death, but yet here you are doing the same thing. Uh, well, thank you. well, you have no choice. You have no choice in these matters. I mean, it's just like if a soldier goes to war, he dies. He knows he's going to die because there are bullets flying at you, so you go to war. You don't say, I can't go to war because I'm going to die. I mean, you have no choice. That, that's, those are the historical situations. We are at a point in time where we don't have armies and we don't have secretariats. We fight alone. Our people can help us because one of the things that is extremely helpful, when people buy the journal, um, it can help because someday up the road, perhaps, I may be able to afford a secretary. I can't do so now. Um, the most people I can afford are people who are often quite incompetent. I mean, they're, they're willing to be helpful, but they mess up the mail. Eventually, I spend more time cleaning up the mess so that you have to have extremely competent people, and that costs money. So um, it's not out of choice. You don't re retreat. I mean, one could say, to hell with it, man. I stop talking. I stop writing. To hell with it. But you can do that, so that, I mean, that's not a question of choice. You do those things regardless of the consequences because you have no other choice. Another question is, um, are you involved in training any young uh, 
students or scholars who continue after you accidentally? You are one of them. All the people here are one of them. But I don't have any special student because I discovered that as I was pointing out when I arrived here today, that I have found more interested people in prisons than I have found in my classes. Sometimes in a class that runs through a whole year, you will only find one student who is worth training, who is committed enough and interested enough. Yes? Yes, I, I want to say this. Um, you know, our history has been hidden all these years. But yet, you know, you're a man with all this knowledge, and it's beautifully given to us as a people. But I resent thinking that you are giving this knowledge to the very people that is hidden our history from us, and that is white students in the colleges. They can still use it against us. They might not say anything to you, but they will use it and they will research and they will turn your work around. I think there should be some strategies worked out wherein first black students must know what you mean and what you're talking about first before handing it or giving it out to white students. Okay, let me say that 90% of my classes are black. Okay, 90% of my classes are black, so that is not entirely true. With respect to the white colleges that invite me, black colleges invite me as many as white colleges invite me. One of the things that has startled me is that a great number of white people have begun to use these books. They can't use it against you because the history of the world shows that as soon as ideas of a certain nature enter the consciousness of man, it subverts man. Man can use some of that knowledge. It's, not, it's quite true that some people can use it against you. But a great number of people do not have that capacity. You see, we overestimate the intelligence of white people. No. I'm okay, no, no, no. Are you, you, no you, 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 what you're really saying is that we may understand, underestimate their evil or their viciousness. We do not underestimate that. But I can tell you this quite clearly, that, for example, in the three years I taught at Princeton, at least six white students did theses in this field in which they are like, let me give you an example. I taught, I taught a class in Princeton, and well, this is different from Rutgers because as I said at Rutgers 90% of my classes are black. At Princeton you have a fairly equal balance situation. I came and I taught a class at Princeton which was largely, I mean, as many whites as blacks. And a white girl who was listening for the very first time in her life to my lecture on astronomy um, and pointing to the difficulties we have of how to establish that the Dogon could have seen these things because even where we find the telescopes, the telescopes are not as highly advanced as our telescopes. She went home because she was trained in astrophysics and space sciences and developed a small, a low power telescope at the range that I said it should be and found Sirius B and reported back to me in detail where it was found, what kind of power she used, what night she could find it, etc., which helped the subject. Okay, so that, I mean, you see, you have to understand that consciousness is not, does not have a color. We are in a situation where whites have control. No, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. I'm talking about laws of the state. You are talking to students who have parents involved in the regency, having the, the, to set up policies for the boards of state education departments. Are you aware that they are trying to stop teaching any ancient history to starting from kindergarten right on up, yeah, starting I'm really in weird, September? Yeah. And yeah. that is to wipe out any... Of course, so, so, so hold on a minute. So do you expect me to stop teaching it? So a broad number of people, because some of these people are prejudiced enough to stop that. Take the Portland school incident. When I went to Portland, the reason why I went there is because these people had been, it's a totally white state, by the way. There are very few black people there. When I went to lecture, absolutely white. And you know what they did to me? When they asked me to rewrite the, the dates for the history, ancient history, and I put 3200 BC um, 
Incense burners in Nubia show that Nubians had invented the hieroglyphic script. They put 3200 BC Nubians found using incense burners, so they bypassed me. I complained to the authorities who had brought the case against them and they were forced to remove that. Now they are sending me materials like the one I mentioned where this woman is saying about we were not only descendants of slaves but slave owners. They are sending that material. When I change that material, they can't screw it up because it has to go to a board which is overlooking it. Hence, I have entered the educational process. If I had not spoken to those people and had some influence on them, I would have no say in it at all.